Starting Microsoft Word 2010. Microsoft Word is one of the most popular programs supported by both Mac and PC. Microsoft Word can be used to create documents, brochures, leaflets, outlines, resumes, lists, and simple web pages. Starting Microsoft Word 2010 Double-clicking its icon on the desktop area, locate Microsoft Word 2010 on your desktop area. Double-click Microsoft Office 2010. Though all programs, click the Start button. The Start menu will appear. Click all programs. Click the Microsoft Office folder. Click the Microsoft Office Word 2010. Parts of Microsoft Office 2010. After opening Microsoft Word, you will be taken to a blank document and see the following screen. The title bar. It shows the open program and the name of the open. The Quick Access Toolbar The Microsoft Office Quick Access Toolbar allows for a customizable toolbar displaying a set of commands such as creating a new document. Opening recently, saved document, saving a document, and doing your last action, redoing your last action, etc. Customizing the Quick Access Toolbar In MS Office 2010, you can show and hide commands in the Quick Access Toolbar or move it above or below the ribbon. Show or hide commands To show a command, click the command without check that you want to show in the Quick Access Toolbar. To hide a command, Click the command with check that you want to find. It will be hidden in the quick access to move above or below the ribbon. To move the quick access toolbar above the ribbon, click to show above the ribbon. To move the quick access toolbar below the ribbon, click the show below the ribbon. The status bar. It moves your document vertically. It displays the document information such as the number of pages, the total number of pages, the proofing errors, and the view buttons. The document area. This is where you start to type your text. The insertion point, 
represents the location where your text will appear. The control buttons. It contains the minimize button, maximize button, and the close button window. Understanding the ribbon is a great way to help understand the changes between Microsoft 2003 to Microsoft 2010. The ribbon holds all the information in previous versions as Microsoft Office in a more visual manner through a series of tabs that contain commands and tools which are grouped according to their function. The Home tab is a Microsoft Word's standard view. This is the view most widely used and allows you to format text by font style, font size, bold, italic, underline, alignment, numbered list, bulleted list, indention, spacing, and font color. The insert tab contains any additives you want to place in your document, including but not limited to tables, clip art, headers, and footers. These icons are convenient and will bring up a dialog box to give you further options when you click. The reference tab makes it especially simple to add table of contains, footness, bibliographic information, and indexes. Mailings tab is for post office related uses. If you wanted to create custom envelopes or labels, this is where you would find such actions. The view tab is where one can find spelling and grammar. The built-in thesaurus and dictionary, you can track changes and add comments. The tab allows you to change views of your document. Thank you for listening. You may now proceed to your next task. Goodbye.